Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and on behalf of Greater Than Gatsby, today I'm going to be editing this image with Painterly 2. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Painterly beginning brushes and I'm going to go ahead and choose Painterly Perfect Smoother. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my opacity up to 100. I'm just going to go ahead and start painting this on. And I'm also going to go ahead and take this down on her arms. Just get her nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. Also going to go down on the neck just a little bit. And that looks good. And we're going to go ahead and move into our Painterly Skin Tone Palette. And I'm going to select Painterly Tone 2. And this just gives a nice, natural, um, fresh skin tone. So you can see there, it's very subtle. So if I click on and off, you can see that there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Painterly Tone 7 as a little added blush. This is just a quick way to do a quick retouch. And then I'll go ahead and take that down a bit. And I'm also going to select um, Painterly Tone 4 and I'm actually going to put this on her lips. So I want to, my ultimate goal here is to give it just a really nice fresh and natural look. So you can see there it's just giving it a little bit of a brown, more of a brownish tone. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Painterly Tone 1 and I'm going to paint this on her hand a little bit because it's a little bit discolored here. And I'll also show you another trick in a second of what I would do here. I'm just trying to give this a little bit more, this side here, a little bit more of a golden tone. And I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And a quick fix for a skin tone, um, if it's like off colored like this, I'm just going to hit Command J. I'm going to select color on my layers and then I'm just going to hit the option key grab a tone that I like next to it and just paint that on here and then I'm just going to go ahead and reduce that opacity a bit and I may take a little darker tone there we go just even that out just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and again reduce the opacity just so it's blended a little bit more so you can see that there okay we're going to go ahead and flatten and I'm going to go into the painterly eye pop again this is kind of a, a quick edit I'm just going to go ahead and paint this on our eyes And you can see there what that did. Let me blow that back up again. And it's just whitening them and brightening them. She has really pretty blue eyes. And then we're going to go down to our underexposed foundation. And you can see that what that did there. It's just brightening things up a bit. I'm going to take that down a little. And that looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into, um, I'm, I'm probably going to come back up to the artistic shifts, but we are going to go down into, let's go into Sleeping Gypsy. And that again is giving it just a nice clean natural tone and brightening her up a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that down to my liking. I take it down just a little bit more. There we go. So I'm just leaving it at 52% and we're going to go down into our painterly textures. I'm going to select Van Ryn. And 
And that's going to give us a nice, pretty contrasting painterly effect. I'm going to go ahead and just reduce my opacity a bit. And then on this, I'm going to want to take this off of her face so her face doesn't look distorted. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this off at 100%. And then I just kind of tap on the fingers and anywhere that it's maybe looking like a little distorted and that looks good there so let me take that back and show you again so that that's already giving us like a nice contrast and I really want to show you at the end how to how dodging and burning on this image what makes a, a big difference as well but this is definitely helping because it's giving that contrast that we need, especially around the face. Then I'm going to go into my Glowing Vibrance brush, and I'm going to use this on her vest here. So I just want to give that a little bit of a different tone. And brighten that up a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity a little bit. Get in there a little bit more. Okay. And that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. Just add a little bit onto the truck here. Okay. And then we're going to go into our Tack Sharp Details. And this, I'm just going to tap on her eyes a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And then we're going to go into Discover the Details. And I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down. And on this, I'm going to go ahead and invert it. So I'm going to hit Command-I. And invert that bring my brush opacity back up to a hundred and I'm just gonna go over her a bit and then we are gonna go into super depth vignette and you can see there what that's doing that's giving us nice some more nice contrast and on this, I'm going to send it to go ahead and take this off of my subject and leave it more on the background of the image. And then we're going to go back up here. And I want to show you, if we go back up to the artistic shifts, I can see this in the background being a little bit more, um, almost like a monotone. So I'm going to select green to marigold and see how that just brings in that pretty, I like this, this toning because it's like going with her vest and everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that nothing got onto my subject. So I'm just going to mask that off of her and that looks good so I'm going to go ahead and flatten it and then I'm going to go use my extra contrast brush I'm just going to go ahead and add a little contrast around my subject here And then I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity on my brush and take it around a little bit more. So see how that's just making her pop off of the vehicle just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And we are going to go down into our dodge and burn. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the painterly dodge brush. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure you're on midtones. It tells you on the pop-up box there. Make sure you're on midtones. And I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up a little bit. And I just wanna start adding a little bit more light to her face. So I'm going like in the corners of her eyes and I'm gonna hit her brow line. I'm gonna put a little bit more on her chin. I'm gonna tap it just on the top of her cheeks. So you could see there what that's doing so far. Then I'm gonna get my brush bigger. Just go down the center of her arm there. And then we're gonna go into the Painterly Burn Brush. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my brush the exposure on my brush to about eight. And we're gonna go in here and give her some a little bit more, enhance her cheekbone a little bit more. So see that? I might take this down a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish burning. And add a little bit more under the lip. That gives it just a little bit more pout. And then she's got this cute little dimple there. I want to accentuate that, so I'm gonna, I went over that. I like to go around the nose a bit. And then we can also use this on the lashes, like the lash line. And sometimes I'll take it around the iris. And even in on that crease here and on the brows a little bit just to enhance those let me go ahead and take this back a bit and we're going to go under the jawline i'm going to go around her hat we'll add a little bit more to her hand here so I'm just kind of outlining where there's already shadow on this. And go around these creases here. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. And I actually like it with the cheekbones, the way that they are, it's a little bit strong, but it looks really good on her. So I wouldn't normally do this like on a child, but since she's a teenager, it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this. Now, one other thing that I wanna do is I don't love the color of this really dark denim. So I am just going to grab a hue saturation layer. Sorry, I just doubled that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my little hopper hand here and point to where I want to change. So it's, of course, it's gonna turn to blues. And I'm gonna pull that up and see how that's making it just, it's almost making it more black there. And I really like that color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command I and then grab my white brush at 100%. And I'm only doing this because her eyes are blue and I don't want to affect her eyes. So if you change blues, you just have to be careful exactly what you're changing there. But see what a big difference that made? It's just, I don't know, it, it's making it look like it, it matches more of like the truck and it's just giving it more of a little bit of a vintage feel, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the edit there and we'll go ahead and look at the before and after. So that was before and that's the after. Again, before and after. Again, this was edited with Painterly 2 and look out for some more videos that are coming soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.